There we go. You can just about see it up there. There we go. Look at the state of that. So, this cracking is because there is a lintel in there. Good Thursday morning, 4th of April. Mum and Dad's 60th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Mum and Dad. And uh, it's not raining. It's not nice, but it's not raining. There's our, our latest delivery from Milwaukee. Our pack out first aid kit. And um, we got that yesterday. And Alex cut his finger yesterday, so good timing on that one. And we're all set up for a lintel job. That. Let me get you a bit closer. Hello. Have you asked if it's okay? Not yet, I'll ask you in a minute. <laughs> so, Alex just tied the ladder off. This came last week, not sure when, but we've uh, been waiting for the weather to get, get on it. As you can see, there isn't, there aren't any lintels in, and I can feel rain on the back of my head. So what we're gonna do, usual thing, take all the brickwork out, new lintel, blah, 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 lift it up a bit. Actually, I'll, I'll, t I'll show you up, to, up top, so I can explain a bit better. There you go, I'm here, we're up. Bit tight on the um, planks there, Malcolm. Could have done with four, but at least it's a nice steady, a nice safe, a safe scaffold. But here you go. We're going up to here with the lintels. Same thing. Up to the next course. Insulate it, pack it, put a new trim on. And um, instead of trying to match these bricks, we're going to take the halves out. I'm going to spin them so it's it, it, it's a row of headers across. So so all the bricks match. And um, we, we, um, we're not we're not putting um, like different bricks in, so it should look nice. So there you go. I think we're going to be our lintel up stand is quite high, so I think we're going to be going up to about here. Probably three courses coming out, which is a bit of a stretch, but uh, we'll manage. The main thing is we've got a nice scaffold to work on. So we're going to put the strong boys at lead level. Three. Three in for this wide one. Yeah, three in for the wide one. Doing the wide one today. And um, strong boy at the bottom. Acker off that and then into the top here. So um, we just need to measure. Check our, our um, acros aren't too high. Because the these, these windows aren't very deep. And there's Alex. It's snug in it. Yeah. Kind of missing a plank, aren't we? I don't know where we're going to fit the spot board. Could you do those clamps that you put your spot board on? You might have to put the spot board here <coughs> in the end. Yeah. I'm going to be on our pups to finish it anyway, when I'm pointing at the top, because I've got to come out to here, because they upstand on the lintel. So. Uh, you shouldn't say that to the camera, though. You were, you still on thin ice after last time. Yeah, at least I've got a handrail and a kickboard and a ladder. <laughs> Right, van's unloaded, got everything we need, and uh, the acro's fit, which is great. So um, we need to cut out down here for our three acros, <coughs> and then make that good after we're done. Um, don't send them up yet, mate. There's not no room to put loads of stuff up here, so we're actually using them one at a time. I'll just be falling over them. You're just putting them over here? Okay, but just be careful because they're not being used. Yeah, so um, I need to get cracking on this. I don't think these are going to take much to get out because they're not on anything. I don't think they are anyway. It looks like it's a lintel crack, but I don't know. There's the cavity tray, so that's gone. And just checking. I don't think it's had insulation. Or has it? Yes, it has. It's been injected. There's one. There's one. Tell tail patches. There's another one. There's another one. So we're gonna have to have 100 mil strips of insulation, please, mate. The usual gubbins to stop the cavity um, evacuating. Not that you need to insulate the, the apex pike gables on houses because you're just insulating the loft space. So um, yeah, 
I remember on Wayne Holmes, they used to stop the insulation. They used to put a cavity tray across, putting a massive weak spot in it, and then no insulation above it. Same with Gleason, they stopped, they stopped at the apex as well. Yeah, just, just, just to save a few bob. Just the cavity socks. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get let's do this. We've got we've got a nice 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 little spot here to put the camera on. So this cracking is because there is a lintel in there. You just make it out there. Just about see it there. And some of this brickwork isn't attached to it. I've just spotted that. So it's got a rusty grabber holding the frame up to the lintel, so that's got to go. Just uh, I've just noticed that all of them setting up my, uh, my dust sheet, so I just need to get the saws all on that, get that cut off and then we can crack on. Proper blade. Every day is a school day. I should really have known that from my metal breaking background, but too fast it just bounces all over it. So I turned it down to one, straight through it. Couldn't believe how quick that went through then. But there you go. I was worried about the window dropping, but the window hasn't dropped, which is great. So um, I can get this dust sheet put on now. I can start taking this, taking, taking these out and hoping that this mortar isn't too hard. So Alex hasn't gotten got too much of a job cleaning the bricks up. But um, everything's moved to there, everything else is solid. So I think we're going to there. Um, I'll, I'll have double check that, but I think that should be enough. Uh, we need to check the height of the upstand of the lintel so we can go up above it and be able to fix the tray in at the back. So um, I'll check that now. Something you take measures back then. Yuck. Oh, it's alright, it's upstairs, nobody will see it. Right, here we go. This is the um, the meringue insulation, which is probably equal worst with the uh, fluff. No, equal second worst with the fluff. The poly balls are the worst by it, uh, by far, unless they have glue in. Uh, pity we can't get into that. Um, Timber lintel, or I don't think I think our lintel is going to be upstand's going to be a bit too high, so we're just going to have to stick it to this this course of brick on the inside. See internal brickwork, not block work. As you can see, it's uh, all very loose, coming out easy. I've got two three quarters in the middle, which I'm going to have to remember. I took a picture of that. There's the tray, which is um, a bit brittle. It's done its job. But the water has got to the lintel, so not the uh, not the worst I've seen, but it is cracking. And um, don't know why they have holes in the lintels. 
it looks like second hand. Like I say, when it's got holes, it's usually second hand. But um, yeah, I'm ready for Alex to get up here now. We've got one broken brick. I'm sure we've got one of these at home. So um, we'll bring that in when we come to the next little. So it's time for Alex now. I need Alex up here to start cleaning bricks and get help me get this acro in. I just need to go down here and cut out this bottom section. So um, yeah, I'm going to start cleaning bricks till Alex gets up and then get him to bring me cushion up and then cut this bottom bottom bed out and get the strong boy in. And the strong boy's going to have to go in upside down, obviously, because it can't go past the planks. It can't go under the planks. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get clean a few bricks up. Okay, update for the last 40 minutes. I've been uh, bombing around in the van, as I, as I always seem to do. But um, good reason for it. When we um, we took out the joint there, that's that's the maximum we could go, the lowest we could go, obviously, because of the scaffold. And with the lead being there, if we'd have put the strong boy in there upside down, I'd have been tripping on the strong boy, and the strong boy would have actually sat on our scaffold. And we can't afford to transfer this weight onto the scaffold because the scaffold sat on the roof below, which is concrete tiles. So we need to keep all the weight off that as possible. So, without taking another two courses out to get our acros in, I've just nipped off to Hodgson's, which is five minutes up the road. So been to them, got the next size down, so we've got the tiny little props, like that, I'm sh not sure what number they are, they all have numbers, I think they might be number ones, but they extend to that big, they are great, they're nice and light, <laughs> I wish we could use them on every job, so um, that's them, so while well, I've been away, Alex has done the, put the, there you go, into that, the top one we possibly can. So, strong boy into there, right way up, strong boy in there, and then that takes the weight. Not that there's a great deal of weight up there anyway, because we're on the pike, but um, we're away now. Alex, I had, me, I had me buses while I was away, so Alex is having his break now, so I can crack on here. So he's done, there you go, he's done that one as well. I think he's forgotten the end one there, but he's also, he's done those, he's done those. He's cut the lintel, he's cut the cowardly tray, so he's been busy while I've been away. I've not been that long either. So, um, it's time to crack on. I just need to cut myself some insulation to put up here to stop any more dropping. We always do that, and then um, it just keeps everything where it should be. And then once we put the tray in, we're putting more, more insulation in that bit there too. And this will be coming out soon. It's coming out nice and easy. The bricks are cleaning nice and easy, so we just need to press on. So um, yeah, let's get this first one in. Here we go, look at the state of that. Wonder why it rusted here. With nowhere to for the water to exit. So that's the, uh, that's what we're supposed to sit our, our lintel on, that course. And you can see when they've fitted the windows, it's fell off. And they've stuck it back on the silicon. Al, Al, it's fell off. It's got brown silicon on it, so it's been stuck back with silicon. So instead of thinking, hang on a minute, this house needs lintels, we've just got the windows in quick, stuck that back on and scarfed. And because that lintel's trapped behind the brickwork, 
no water can escape so it just sits on the lintel and rots the lintel to the other side. So there you go. What a load of old crap that is. So the lintel's still sat here so that's still supporting the brickwork here. Our, str our strong boy acro has got this section. That acro is too low so I've got to take that, that out and put that on. Al? Little grind, is there going to use that? With the grinding wheel on it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so um let me just get this out. Oh, I can't get it out. Let's have a look. Well there you go anyway, it's, it's it's just gobbed up on top of the lintel. So basically that's just a plug for all the water to sit in and go nowhere. So um yeah, I need to get down the other end now and get that done. We are way behind now, but we'll pull it back. Anything we don't get done today, we'll just leave for when we do this one, which is a lot smaller, a lot more straightforward. And then um, I don't have to go off and get stuff to this one. Everything's here on site, so that'll save us time as well. So there you are, that's what the lintel's set on. Um, a 40 mil pad of rust. There's the old joggles. That's horrendous that. I'm not sure if uh, these original are original until I think they are. But why would you go to the trouble of going all this messing about and cutting and not just put them on the next course up? Even if the timber windows you could put a plant a piece of timber on top and put a trim across the top of it. It's crap. So there you go. As Catherine takes Nan and say, What a load of old shit! Right, get this out and we'll get down the other end. There you go, and we've arrived at the other end. There you go. Apart from all the motor that I knocked out, that's what that lintel set on. I know there's not a lot of weight at this end, but come on. <laughs> and that was just. Again. That might be there, that one. What, what did you think would happen with that? <sighs> Load of crap. Why didn't they just put it on that course? Tell the bloody window manufacturers to alter the size of the windows. Not rocket size, is it? Instead of doing that. So because it, because it wasn't in courses, I'd assume there was no lintel in it. Oh, there you go. Just a load of extra work to get that in and make it work and then because the lintel's lower than the back of the brick there's no exit through the water so it just sits there and rusts and it starts lifting everything but this this above is solid absolutely solid it's quite i think it's lime water but it must have cement in it because it's strong 
which is not good for Alex when he's cleaning but he has got most of them cleaned up so what we're going to do is um, take the headers and switch them lintel up to there and just put that as a row of, of headers instead of brick and edge so it just looks like brick and edge but, but the other way around um, that way we keep all the bricks the same colour same match um, there's about three or four we're going to have to replace obviously the the, the, um, the, the closures that we've done need to redoing and we need to put replace them with full bricks from under our lintel our lintel's only come into there so um, and our um, upstand's going to go to there so I'll just be able to get the back of it there and that brick there is just go back in there although even that doesn't matter because it's it runs oh no it's, that's the head of course so yeah that goes in there and then the headers start there so and then I'll just get to the back of it there to get the tray sealed up there somewhere so we'll go and have a quick dinner and get back into it it's not critical that we completely finish this today because obviously we're coming back for that which will probably be at the weekend and then um, So um, we're back as soon as the uh, weather changes again. Now um, Alex uh, thinks Nia's coming on Tuesday, but um, she's actually coming tonight. So me and mum, his mum are going to pick her up to surprise him. What are you doing? Oh, hello. <laughs> Sarah was in on it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was in on it for weeks. <laughs> That's it. End of stream. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. We're happy, everybody. So, um, he will be coming into work even when Neil's down. I think Neil will be coming to work every day. But, um, yeah. There'll be three of us next time we come back here. So Nia can have the crap job of cleaning bricks. I'm sure she'll love it. And look at that front upstand. <laughs> Let's go make some dinner. Motor charger. Big charger. Sorry, super charger. Charges everything a lot quicker. But it's optimised for the new forward batteries. Which I haven't got at the moment. And here's the other supercharger. That's a beast. That's already put the link down. As you can see, it's a hell of an upstand. That gives it its strength. Even though it's thin, it, that gives it its strength. So we've got to get the tray up and pass that. That's why I've taken so many brick out. Right, it's going to some dinner. Just a my new hat. This is my work one. I've got a, a bluey green one for my best. I should have had it on before, before my head got covered in dust. So, had lunch, got my tablets down me. So, climbing the ladder isn't as hard as usual. Yeah, Alex has already done the um, cutouts for the strong boys. Let me do this, this window. So, like I say, we're behind. I think it's half one now. We usually at this stage at 12 o'clock, but it is a bit wider than lintel, and we did have the uh, issue with the acros. There you go, it's all propped up. It's very stable brickwork with this. So, what I need to do now is get this steel out, get um, these bricks bedded back on both ends, get our lintel on and get the cavity tray done. So still plenty to do before we start the brickwork. Oh yeah, we need to organise ourselves here as well. Uh, as I say, Malcolm rang me and apologised. He said it's a new lad. And he doesn't know why, put, as you can see, the poles are plenty long enough to put more planks in. So, I think he said he'd come and change it, but I think to change it, you'd have to drop the whole thing and redo it. So, it's, it's quite a trek for them, so we'll just put up with it. Um, yeah. Right, let's get this ugly mess out of the way.
Time's getting on, it's about half three now. Good job of coming back to do another one, or it would be a very late one. So, there's the halves with the wheat vents in, with the lintel tray nailed in, insulation. So, um, Alex just get me some more more truck and I'm going to carry on. Coming on nicely. Oh, yeah. Al, have the insulation, please. Oh, yeah.
get a minute, can you bring me a brew up please? You know the coffee. Oh,
go. You can just about see it up there. It's not fully finished, but like Dad said, we're short on brick, which we're going to pick up when we come here next. Which um, will be in the next few days, hopefully. Tomorrow's meant to be a complete write-off, so we'll um, we'll see how it goes. We've just got to play it by ear at the moment, but that's up there, re ready to finish off. So when we do come back, it's a case of get that second lintel sorted, and then get all the rest of the fiddly bits done, get the trims on, get all, take all the props out and what have you, and um, repoint where the strong boys have been. What's going on in my hair? Anyway, <laughs> we will, I don't know if, I'll do an outro just in case Dad's dividing this into two parts. So, either we will see you when we're here next, or, or thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a like, and if you're new to the channel, yeah, not, don't, don't need to bother signing out, do I? No way near finished. <laughs>